This is quite possibly the greatest revenge thriller of all time. I saw The Devil is a Courier movie that came out back in 2010, starring Lee Byung-chul and Choi Min-sik. I really hope I'm not butchering the pronunciation of their names. Min-sik plays a serial killer who murders a woman who turns out to be the pregnant wife of a secret agent and the daughter of the chief of the squad. <laughs> this sounds like a pretty straightforward revenge thriller, right? Wrong. Because Byung Chol's character hunts down the serial killer, he doesn't arrest him, he doesn't kill him. Instead, he knocks him out and makes him swallow a GPS tracker so he can hunt him down and punish him. This starts the game of cat and mouse. Kim, who was the secret agent, um, becomes obsessed with finding the murderer. His name is Kyung Chol. And basically, he wants to punish him for as long as possible, right? So with that in mind, this movie is insanely violent. It's quite possibly one of the most violent movies I've ever seen. And it doesn't pull any punches. You know how in a bunch of movies, the camera kind of cuts away before the really messed up stuff happens and just kind of leaves some stuff to the imagination? I saw The Devil doesn't do that. I'm going to jump around a little bit because I really want to talk about the performances. A movie like I Saw the Devil very easily could have been just like a go fest, a gore fest and nothing more. But it never becomes that primarily because of Lee, uh, Lee and Choi's performances. Lee in particular is so good as the secret agent. His character goes on this journey where his sense of morality is continuously challenged. And because he's so blinded by his rage and anger, he goes down this path of darkness that you sort of want him to go down, but at the same time, you want to protect him from as well. And he's matched every step of the way by Choi Min Sik. Now, the interesting thing here is that Choi Min Sik was in exile for about four years. He hadn't done a movie for four years, and I think he only came back um, to work about a year before he did I Saw the Devil, but he does not miss a step. He's created one of the scariest movie villains I have ever seen. He has absolutely no redeeming qualities. You can look into his eyes and see absolutely nothing except for this bloodlust that just turns on like the flip of a switch just seconds before he attacks. And this violence, this almost animalistic rage within him, within him is really effective because the sound design is also so, so good. <laughs> So when he attacks, the sound draws you in and you feel you feel the pain that he's causing in a more personal way and you want him to pay. Even though Lee is doing increasingly despicable things to punish him, you want him to be punished. So it's like you're complicit in Lee going down this path that he's on. You really see them break each other down as the movie progresses and because of the things that they're doing, because of the way that the violence is escalating, there's obviously going to be collateral damage. This is a movie that just starts in fifth gear and never lets up. If anything, it only just escalates and escalates and escalates. It's two and a half hours long, but it doesn't feel nearly as long. Like when I watched it, it felt like maybe a hundred minutes or 105 minutes, just the time just flew by. Having said that, they could have probably shaved off maybe five or 10 minutes and not really lost anything in the movie. My, I, that's kind of just nitpicking. My, True only gripe, I'd say, with the movie, and this is a trigger warning, uh, is that there is some sexual violence. Um, this could just be sort of my perspective, but I felt like it didn't add all that much to the movie. You already know that Choi Min Sik's character, Kyung Chol, the serial killer, is a monster. Um, so those one or two scenes really just weren't needed, but it's not like the rest of the violence in the movie where the camera doesn't cut away. Thankfully, there is some discretion um, that's on display here, but yeah, I'd say that's my only sort of main issue with this movie. The scenes of sexual violence weren't needed, and honestly, if they were taken out, then the movie would have been five or ten minutes shorter, so sort of both of my gripes would have been addressed here. If you want a visceral, violent, hard R revenge thriller, then I think I Saw the Devil is as close to perfect as you can get. It it's just 120 minutes of absolute madness and then it doesn't stumble at the finish line. It actually manages to stick the landing with one of the most memorable endings and final acts overall to a movie like this that I've seen in a very, very, very long time. And that's rare.
My name is Akshay and this is Funky Movie Reviews where I talk about relatively unknown movies that need to be seen by more people. Whether it's an indie, a movie that never made it to a larger market or a foreign language film that more audiences need to see, I will watch it and I will talk about it. So if you want your taste in movies to be a little funky, like, comment, share, subscribe.